This is Coogan Cassius for Eiffel TV in association with MTK Global. We're in Gibraltar for White Pavetkin 2 Fight Week, making his uh, much anticipated professional debut this week, Mr. Campbell Hatton. How are you, mate? Good, mate. Happy to be here. Can't wait now. Absolutely. Ricky, or sober Ricky, shall I call you? <laughs> I'm just a little bit gutted that, you know, we're in lockdown on the boat. <laughs> we're doing it with this Irish bar in the background there. <laughs> what are you trying to do with me? There was a big splash near my dad's balcony before. <laughs> stop, look, stop looking yeah. over there, you'll get a semi on. <laughs> in, the, in, the, in the bubble. Uh, let me bring in Matthew. Matt, can you come in a little bit just because he's uh, it's a little bit... Yeah, we can get you in there. We can get you in there. Um, this is a real kind of family occasion this weekend, obviously. Uh, we've spoken to Ricky um, a few weeks ago. Well, it was a few months ago now, the Joshua um, Pulev card, which Campbell was announced as uh, going to be making his debut. But you've been working alongside your nephew now. So we saw that picture you posted out of when he was around 11 years old. And it's incredible to kind of see... The shape he's in, what he looks like now, since then. Mm. It, the transformation for Campbell has been so quickly, really. He seems to have become gone from a boy into a man over the last probably six months. Uh, but his boxing's, oh, I'd say over the last twelve months, really, really improved. Um, and I couldn't be, I couldn't be, um, couldn't be more pleased with him in the gym. He's looking fantastic. Done everything me and his dad's asked of him. Worked really hard. And I think you're going to see the the fruits on Saturday night. I really do. Campbell, I'll uh, bring you in. Um, Pressure-wise for you, there is undoubted pressure, but you don't seem like you're phased or going to be phased by any kind of pressure going into this Saturday. Yeah, there is. There's going to be a lot of eyes on me and there's a um, big expectation, but I think I'm dealing with it quite well, to be honest. I'm using it to my advantage. I'm uh, using it as that extra kick up the arse in training where I know because there's that many eyes on me, I can't afford to be letting things slip or putting in bad performances. So I know I've got to be on my best, so I've got to work my hardest. How does this compare to any night that you've had in the ring, the anticipation of watching your boy make his professional debut this week? different to my debut. My debut was in witness. <laughs> Which, you know, you look round, <laughs> it's exactly witness. No, no disrespect to people from witness intended. But no, um, listen, you know, I, you know, I, you know, I, um, you know, I, I, I was very fortunate, if you remember, when I was 18 years of age, I got the chance to box on Nassim Ahmed's undercard in, against Ke when he boxed Kevin Kelly in Madison Square Garden. And, you know, yeah, I went from Witness Leisure Centre in my me, in me debut and then went to Madison Square Garden and everything like that. And everybody thought, you know, it's a big test. But I was able to cope with it. Because, and the thing is, it's in, it's in the, his genes, you know. It's, it's like, you know, if I didn't think he had the confidence to deal with all this stuff, I think we speak for Matthew, we, we, we'd get him off it and we'd bring him in on, at a smaller stage. But no, I think he's, you know, he's ready for it. In the last few, in you know, a few years ago, me and Matthew used to speak, he used to think, I don't know if he's quite ready to go pro yet. I don't know if he quite, quite can do it. And in them two years that Matthew spoke, spoke about there, what a contrast, what a difference, you know what I mean, that he's done in attitude, in dedication, in, in technique, in strength, in, in, the, in the, the whole shebang now. So when I see him, you know, yeah, the, you know, Matt Room and Sky have given him the big build-up and a fantastic build-up, which is great, you know, the interviews, the press and, you know, and everything that they've, they've done for him, do you know what I mean, is, you know, is, is brilliant, but I think, you know, this, I think he's going to handle it I think he's going to land it like, like a duck to water. Really do, honestly. And and Matthew, the, the context your your brother and yourself have got in the boxing world, it's fair to say that Campbell could, probably could have been trained by anyone in the world, but the confidence has gone into yourself being obviously Campbell's uncle, Ricky's brother. Uh, is that more pressure for you? Not really, you know. I've I've always been very close with Campbell, and I've worked with Campbell. Just let me pass him in laces a minute. <laughs> on and off for uh, for the last couple of years, so um, no, Campbell's really coming on, and uh, I've always he's a rough diamond, Campbell. Even when we spoke, 
Um, even when, like Ricky's talking about there, when I was watching him a couple of years ago, I, I could see things in him, little flashes in him. Uh, and things that I saw in his amateur days, mental side of it as well, that knew, I knew would stand him in good stead when he when he did turn professional. So, um, no, Campbell's always going to be better suited to professional boxing. Uh, and to get the job of training him, uh, like you say, I wish I had a gym full, like, you know, I've been coaching for some time now. Um, and Campbell's got a great attitude to training. I wish I had a, a gym full uh, like Campbell. Great attitude to training. Boxing like he's tucked to the shagging, hasn't he? Basically, when you think. <laughs> I'm a granddad now at 43, which I'm very, very proud of. Well, Lila's going to watch this when she's older, you know. <laughs> True. <laughs> this video's on there forever, Lyle's by the way. Running in the family. Lila's going to watch this and say, Jesus, I didn't want to know my dad was a top shagger. <laughs> He'll have had the snip by the time he's 23. <laughs> Bucks in, Bucks in. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Um, uh, Campbell, aside from boxing, right, for people that don't know, obviously your family do know and they'll pick up on things, but what are the similarities between yourself? I know your dad was talking about you, obviously you are a young father yourself, but that aside, that aside, what are the similarities that you know between you and your dad, n n not boxing related? How long have we got? <laughs> right, <laughs> yeah, um, there is loads of similarities in and out the ring. Um, like personalities, we, like we're both, like we're both very similar in that way. Like same sense of humour. Like we're both not arrogant people. Like down to earth and both like a scran and a bear. Every well, he's every he's a uh, hardly every now and then, but <laughs> I like one when I can. No, never mind, Lilo. I've got to listen to this in a couple of years. <laughs> in a couple of years <laughs> But he, he does seem like his personality-wise, that's what it comes across from the outside watching in. That he's the old cliche of a chip off the old block from you, Ricky. Well, it is, and you know, you know, people. I mean, they, they liked me for me fighting. Um, I mean, that goes without saying. But I think they liked me because I was just like no, no different to the people that supported me. I was just, you know, would would go to watch, I'd go to watch City, you know, be in the pub having a pint, be in the pub having a game of darts, you know, and and I don't want him to, you know to go to the extremes of you know putting the weight on like I did and you know and, and stuff like that I think we're past them them days but I mean you know pick you know that's why people like me because there was no nonsense what you see is what you get I was one of them and I believe I was just not a load of bunkum that was selling here he's the same he's the same he's the one of us he's one of them people that buy the tickets every week to come and watch us I promise you he is and you know it's going to be hell of a ride you know what I mean and um be a few bumps along the way. He's only a youngster, you know. Be a few speed bumps along the way, you know what I mean. Like it is for you know for for all of us, you know what I mean. But I mean, you know, person with him giving you back in, he'll get there in the end. I promise you, he'll get there in the end. Campbell, I put a, a poll out yesterday. It wasn't a real poll. It was just a kind of a, a generic question out to people on Twitter, just to say, aside from people that currently headline pay per view shows now, who do they see as the next potential? pay-per-view star from, from our country or Ireland. And there was a lot of shouts for Conor Ben because of where he is in his career. But then after that, there was a lot of shouts for you to fill that gap. Yeah, that'd be a dream come true for me. Um, looking back at... like oh, me laces. Oh, yes. Yeah, them laces. You've got bleeding Balenciagas on your tit. You haven't even got laces. You, uh, yeah. You've got a speed sock on there, have you, Rick? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, looking at the support my dad had through his career, and I, I do think that I'm I'm well capable of getting the same thing myself. Um, I think when they see my style of fighting, it's something that's like very fan friendly, and uh, a, a lot of um, like a lot of boxing fans really are going to love it. And ju outside the ring as well, personality wise, I think I've got a lot in common with. Like the man in the crowd where I do like like my football, or like going like going to the pub when I can, and having a scram when I can. But uh, yeah, I do. I think people are really re re really tempting me. Well, that that some things never stop. <laughs> Campbell, would you say, and I'm talking about your uncle Matthew and also your dad, do you listen to everything they tell you, boxing related? Do you take it on board and do you listen to everything? Yeah, definitely. I'd be an idiot not to. Um, obviously, they are my dad and my uncle, but at the end of the day, like it, it's Ricky and Matthew Atten as well. So 
no one's going to be ignoring any advice that would be given him. And I'm in a great position where, he's like, like my dad said there, he can, he gives me advice in and out, out of the ring as well, because for all his strengths, he did have his weaknesses, which I've got the benefit of his experiences of that to know not to make the same mistakes. He put that in a really nice way, by the way. <laughs> I'm putting it that way, could you? You had some stick here, you? You look all toss. I just ordered a load of food for his room. So at the end of the day, boxing was always important, but, you know, he's a father now, you know, he's got, you know, good family, he's got a good girlfriend, beautiful, beautiful daughter. That is, And that's what, you know, boxing was always important, but it's even more important now. And I think, um, I think I'm right in saying, Matt, that maybe... In the last, what's Lila now, two and a half? Are we saying Campbell's improved in the last two and a years? It might be because, because the little princess come along. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? What he knows he's got to do. And, and, and that's because the last two and a half years, you've slipped a gear. And it might not be Lila. It might just be sometimes that's the way, you, way you, your progress happens, doesn't it? You know, you improve, you work on things. Then all of a sudden, you just everything just seems to click in, into place. And I think that's what it's done in the last two years. And I think that's why we're stood here today because of the improvement in the last two years. And I think it might have something to do with that little um, little daughter we've got. You know what I mean? I, I really do. What, in your opinion, are the, the drawbacks or the negatives of being such a kind of close-knit family situation? We, boxers always kind of get judged when they have fathers and, and family that have been in the spotlight before. We've seen it with Conor Ben, we've seen it with Chris Eubank, etc. What are the negatives that, as has been talked about, that you don't really want him to fall into, uh, from what I'm saying here, about that kind of pressure between where you guys were and where you want him to be? I think it's the, 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 uh, the family you have around you and the, the friends you have around you. I mean, there's, there's, no, there's no way... You know, me and Matthew weren't ever going to get cocky because my mum and dad wouldn't allow it to. There's no way he's going to get above with his station. The minute he gets a little bit, you know, starts, you know, getting a little bit of a spring in his step as he's walking down the street, we're always the first, which is, which is not often, but, you know, I mean, it's, and that's the way it is. And the mates that we surround ourselves with, you know what I mean? If we've ever got one little bit, you know, out of our, out above our, above our station, even Campbell's friends, they'd pull him and go, hey, what do you think you're playing at you? And, and I think that's, I think it's the area we, we come from. And I think it's the family environment that we, we, we grew up in. You know, I, I've never, you know, won't take no stick. His mum's never took no stick. Matthew's the same with his kids. My mum and dad were the same with us when we were kids. And it's, it's not just coincidence that the family is, that's how it's, it's rolling on, isn't it? You know what I mean? I think that's because I think it's set in stone from the family from day one. Matthew, do you want to add to what Ricky was saying there? No, I mean, a, a lot's been spoken. Um, and again, the similarities between like the, the likes of Conor Ben and, and Chris Eubank Jr. And these are guys that, that don't need to box. The fathers have done well, like Ricky has. They, they don't need to box, but it's who they are. It's, you know, it's what they are. They, they're fighters. And the fighters that we've touched on there, Chris Eubank Jr. and um, uh, Conor Ben, the one thing what I like about both them guys, they're so hungry for it, aren't they? Different things motivate different people. Whether they want have to box or not, they don't have to box, it's just in them to do it. And the thing that strikes me with them two, they're both very, very hungry for it, as Campbell is. And Campbell's a, you know, a, a cheeky chappy, a good joker, but you put him in that ring, he's a vicious little get, <laughs> trust me. So you're going to see that on Saturday. Very hungry, Campbell, and that's so important in boxing, especially professional boxing. Campbell, is there any parts of this kind of family trio that's frustrating for you or is it all good? No, it's all been really good. There's, um, like, the advice I've got from both of them, like, I couldn't ask for any better. Um, and like obviously Matthew's my trainer, but my dad's always there to do bits of work with every now and then as well. And I like, can pick both the brains, so it is, it's working spot on. Working spot on? Pardon? Working <laughs> yeah. spot on? Yeah, it is. We just need him to do the business, and you know what I mean. Listen, you, you know, there's there's, there's going to be uh, there's going to be uh, there's going to be bigger tests out there. But you know, every opponent, whether you know how good he is or how bad he is, you know, it's all about everything. Is I I always want to know everything about is impressing the fans. Every fight's your shop window. Do you know what I mean? And you know, and you know, you can't set your you can't take your foot off the, you can't take your eye off the ball for one minute. You know what I mean? It's got to be everything's in shot window now. Not, not, lots and 
not too many opportunities are happening out there for again. And Campbell's got a wonderful opportunity here with what Matt Trim is doing with him and Sky Sports there. And I tell you what, you know, and you know what, if you if you keep performing and performing like you do, them opportunities will always be there. You've got to just, you know, give it your own and, and, and just 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 give your whole best. And um, that's what we'll do. I think people are going to be surprised. I think people might see, might think we're going to see a bullet at the gate, just something. The I think you know, you know, bullet in the china shop. I think uh, I think they're going to be surprised. I think they're going to be surprised for someone with so little experience, just what he has got in the in the armour. Yeah. C Campbell, your opponent was only announced uh, a few days ago. Um, have you looked into him and seen what he's about? Yeah, there's not um, not a great deal out there of him, but uh, one thing that Matthew said to me all week in the gym is that uh, with pro professional boxing, you've got to be switched on all the time. He said it's not just the punches that are coming at you. There's like these heads, like elbows, every loads of things that you have to be wary of. So you have to stay switched on, and if you're not on on your game, some of these opponents can turn you over if if you're not. Um, like if, if if you're not at the races, so uh, I've just got to make sure that I'm 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 firing when I uh, when I get in it every time I do get in the ring. Okay, well I'm going to let you crack on with the rest of your night. Obviously, I don't know what Campbell's doing, but I definitely know what you two are doing. <laughs> <laughs> um, Campbell, have you do you want to say anything to your, your dad and uncle ahead of this weekend? Just anything you want just comes to the top um, of your head. Up early tomorrow. <laughs> Say no more. <laughs> All right, well, listen, Campbell, uh, Ricky, Matthew, thank you very much for talking to Matthew there. Uh, IFL TV, and listen, if we grab a word of you before the fight this weekend, but appreciate your time. And uh, yeah, roll on, rumble on the rock Absolutely. in Gibraltar. Thank nice. you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks.